EXTERMINATE! Greetings, my fellow subjects. It is I, the Dalek Emperor, and welcome to another Dalek Reacts Now. This is a mini um, Dalek Reacts series because I'm basically breaking this, this reaction video into two parts. What am I talking about? I'm of course talking about The Brink of Destruction, which is an unofficial Doctor Who fan film. And was made... Uh, and was made by the confused adipose and has... 2,737 2, views on YouTube and was made on the 5th of December 2020. So it's quite a recent thing. So, am I going to react to all of it in this video? No, I'm going to break it into a couple of parts, because, into a few parts, because it is one hour. Four minutes and 41 seconds. That's a lot. Indeed. So, yeah, that, that's why I decided to break it into a um, couple of parts. Okay? So, without further ado, let us uh, observe then. Now, before we jump into this video, I just want to let you know that there is music from uh, Doctor Who, uh, basically Sagan, Akinola and Murray Gold's music are in this video, so just so you know, this video belongs to the BBC and I'm not taking any credit from them, I'm giving credit, I'm giving credit to them. And also I'm giving credit to the Confused Adipose and apparently there are other songs in this. Uh, so yeah, I'm giving credit to um, the people who have made the other songs in this video. Uh, okay, so let's observe then. Start from the beginning. Let me tell you the story. Okay. The story of the Matrix. A child was Matrix. on the streets of Gallifrey until one day a traveller came, found him, took him in, and raised him as his own. I can promise you, you will be safe here. You always will be. The child grew up. His mind was twisted by Omega. That was the last Omega? Impossible. Oh, great. Oh, good, Daleks. Yay! I'm interested now. Oh my goodness, is it two me's? Oh my goodness, why is that? Why are there two me's? Why are there two me's? For this day, this final day, the day where I end it all, not just myself, but this entire. Are you going to commit suicide? I am Universe. Wait a minute, I know that voice. That's Thurry's from a wheelchair gang. So, yes, uh, I'm giving a shout out to Thurry's in this video. 
I have the base code to the universe. Because he voices the Daleks in this. Today marks the end. The end of the universe. The end of time itself. All hail the Matrix. The Matrix is inferior, in my, in my opinion. They should be worshipping me, the Emperor of the Daleks. Not a guy in a cowboy hat. Joe Street. I presume he is a confused adipose. I won't react to all this, I only react to say about Don't blink. 20 minutes of it. With your angels. Blink, and you're dead. What the what devil's the going on? Well, there's a variety of things they could do. They could kill you, they could send you back in time, or they could just snap your neck. Not helpful. I can't keep my eyes open. What if I try winking? I can do that with my new eye. That's actually a very good question. I mean, maybe, but maybe... Not helpful again. Where's that bloody service droid got to? Who knows? What service droid? What the devil is going on? Yes, uh, if you must know, yes, uh, I was going to mention this is... Ha! You can't kill something that's not alive. Oh dear, I think I forgot to read the blurb, didn't I? Uh, right, okay. So, when the universe is on the brink of destruction, uh, and enemies will become friends, friends will become enemies, will the Doctor and... His companions be able to save. Uh, existence as we know it, the universe lies on the brink. Will you let it fall? Obviously, yes. Uh, the brink of destruction is a no budget fan film created by a group of passionate young filmmakers and Hoovians which explores the fantastic vast universe of iconic BBC show Doctor Who including villi villains such as Daleks and... Okay, look, uh, sorry, I got distracted there! Ah! Well, that's confused adipose or... I presume the confused adipose is the Doctor in this situation. Wait. Is he really shooting at them? Why does uh, why do they sound like Cybermen? And you can't kill Stone. I can try. Hurry up and get us out of here. Look out! Got it. Sorry, what? Jadoon? What are... What are these Jadoon do? They look very different from normal Jadoon. Nice rhinoceros, uh, mask. Five, four, three, two, one. I have to say, the Jadoon are more skin coloured. Uh, that's my critique on this. Uh, on the look of these Jadoon. Current prisoner has been eliminated. Who? We must find the new prisoner. Task of maximum importance. Um, sorry, what? I'm very, very confused. Cool, 
that was a close one. That was too close. Well, now it's all over. Let's have a cup of tea. Are you going to thank us for that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why do you sound like a Cyberman? Yeah. Are you Cyberman? Well, Are you Cyberman? The that person is a Cyberman. Well, you say we. He's a pretentious time. How dare you? This geezer doesn't have to be here. Shut up. Uh, what? We travel with him. The doctor. What? Through time and space. In a police box somewhere over there. The TARDIS. Oh. What a shame. Ah, there you are. Yes, I am. Well then, back to the TARDIS. What's that? That's what you're doing. What? That, that's a Jadoon platoon at... Six hours past noon. Right. What's going on? Ah. Oh, look. Oh, no. Well, there's and Where the hell are you taking the, him? The doctor is our prisoner. They're very realistic. The, uh, the Jadoon. Go back to the TARDIS. Live great lives. This doctor is actually doing quite well. We need to go back to the TARDIS. Come on! Wake up! So we're all going to the TARDIS. Through a cornfield, apparently. I can't remember it. No one will remember any of it. It's all just too scrambled in the timeline. We're annoyed if we didn't do anything. Just patience. Anyway, where was it? Who's this person? Who are these people? Glorified space police. More like interplanetary thugs for hire. Oh, uh, okay. And who, 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 who's that woman? Who are those two people? How about does she know all this? What the heck is going on? We do not take orders from criminals. But that's the thing, I'm not a criminal. I mean, I presume this has nothing to do with the division, does it? I mean, that was sorted out a while back. I don't know, maybe you've been stealing sonic screwdrivers or something, Doctor. We have a new contract. Okay, then. This Explain! Look, I'm really not in the mood. Answer me! You should be transferred to holding cell 4. No! No! Oh dear. Who's oh the yes. Is it? Okay. Oh no. Not him again. Oh god, not him. Not him. <sighs> Just when my day couldn't get any worse. Oh dear, Davros. Why did Davros have to be in here? Don't touch anything. But it's... it's... Yes, it's bigger on the inside, we know. Does anybody actually know how to fly this ship? Nope. You know, one of these days I'm gonna actually kill Davros one time. Isn't the TARDIS just... supposed to be flown by six people? <laughs> oh, it just but, um, irritates me. Why do we have to leave the control room? <laughs> a Time Lord works best when he's by himself. We stay in here when the Doctor's here. Why is now any different? It, it just is. Bye-bye. Rose. Damn machine, how do you work? Right, I'll um I'll I'll try the phone. Right. 
Hello? Who's there? I'm Professor Gideon of the Time Lord Academy. Hey Gideon, Captain Jack Harkness here. Uh, oh dear, you know him again. Don't tell anybody, I'm on a mission. I um, have had to pull over in the Really? What is he oh, doing is. here? Anyway, I need your help. Do you have any idea? Why is so, he here? Console, I need you to figure it out. Get Jack Harkness is inferior. Okay, he will be destroyed! Pulling over, talking to you, making sure... I don't need your life story. You don't know how to fly it either. Before you even do that, I, you have to join Torchwood. I'm... I'm, I'm more free range. I intend to destroy Torchwood like one time. day, Jack Harkness! I'm not gonna join your cult, mate. To do what I can to protect humanity and any other life form out in the universe. Fine, if it'll shut you up, but I do need some help here. Good, welcome to Torchwood. Look, do you know anyone else who could help me? Because evidently you're not quite there. The Time Lords and the Doctor himself. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's do this, okay? Let's fight. I think there's Cybermen out there somewhere. But we got Cybermen! Listen, I gotta go. Also, why do you have white hair now? Gideon, the universe is on the brink of destruction. You need to find the Doctor himself. He now, Captain Jack Harkness, out. Thank you. Front to melodrama. Is this thing flying? Being pulled back to Earth. I should have known. This you are inferior, Davros. Of course it is. You hired the dude to kidnap me for some ungodly reason. Your ignorance is ever-changing, Doctor. I am just like you. Two inferior life forms locked in a room. That's something I wish would happen one day. What do you mean, like me? A prisoner. What? Why? Just as the Jadoon captured you, they in turn captured me. Okay then. Who's ordering you? Yay! They captured you. I'm really happy that they did that. To like the answer. Can you just hurry up, please, or I'll hit you with my shoe? The child. I'm gonna hit him with my goddamn ice stalk if he uh, in a moment. Oh, so this is the. They were here. Oh, they in. No, they were here. Oh, great. Oh, no. Another inferior life form. Oh, great. Another inferior life form. Am I interested? No. What's that noise? What's that smoke? Oh, no. Um, no! It can't be. Not That's him. Not him. Not him! Hello, my pretty. What the hell do you think you're doing? I believe this is what you humans call. I do. Love you too. What are you actually doing here? Wow. I know this may be hard to believe, but I know the doctor's been. Well, it's introducing all the characters the Daleks despise and find inferior. We'll take him by the do, and I'm your only hope of getting him back. Sure. Exactly. Who exactly is this guy? The master, the evilly deranged psychopath. You are an inferior <laughs> master. If you're really on our side, why'd you burn down their base? Oh, the base. It was only going to slow us down anyway. Besides, a little chaos is a wonderful thing. Look, you really don't believe me, do you? Point a gun at me, it won't make you feel any better. Back. I need to go check on Jake. Gotcha. Okay, old chap. Charming. Right then, come on. What is it the doctor calls you? Fan. 
Come on, fam. <laughs> yeah, you know, the word fam is now overused. Uh, we, yeah, the word fam, in fact, is inferior. I, I would have preferred it if he just called them companions. <laughs> My god, have the times changed. How can the Matrix be behind this? He died at the fall of Omega. Well, evidently he did not. I've heard whisperings, Doctor. He removed me so he can take control of my own creations. The Daleks. But really? the Matrix and the Daleks, that's an alliance that can wipe out entire planets. You know, we could have just done it by ourselves. We didn't really need the Matrix's help for that. Okay. Let's just continue. Incorrect. They could take out entire universes. What's his aim? What does he even want? What does he need the Daleks for? I'm afraid I do not have this information. What, 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 what I do know, I have heard whisperings, don't I? Whisperings of the betrayer. Oh, the you can't just kill him. They're coming home. We have arrived on prison planet 42. Doctor shall be transferred to his cell. Okay, I think this is a perfect time for me to end the video. Okay, so... I think that uh, this video was interesting to say the least. It has a good story and has good plot elements to it. The only downside is Davros being in it. And of course, the Matrix thinking he is control of the Daleks. The Daleks are controlled by no one! But yes, uh, yes. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to his channel to be confused after pose and um, and like this video that uh, I would react to too. And I will see you in the next video then. Goodbye.